Well, I know it's been a long time since my last e-bike video, but finally picked up another frame mountain bike. Actually got a Tidal Force S750. Pretty cool electric bike frame. in the backpack, especially LiPo, just because uh, it kind of restricts your riding. I got a, a cable attaching me to the bike. I don't really like that. But uh, nice shiny new bike. Got a great deal on it. I mean, you can't go wrong with these bikes. The frame uh, is very helpful when you're wiring. It's got the, uh, let me put my backpack down here. Actually, here's my first flaw. Backpack can't even touch the ground before it starts uh, stretching on my cord. Where can I put it? There we go. Alright, so there's that little tiny 36 volt 450 watt controller that I opened up in one of my other videos and, you know, upped, uh, upped the amps of it a little bit. Got the same motor. Yeah, these frames are great though. They have the uh, top tube here that you can snake wires through and it's got those little rubber boots to cover it so I got my throttle line going through there everything's obviously temped out on wire nuts I got my old kickstand from my GT it matched up to this frame nicely I love that kickstand I'm glad to have it back uh, yeah but the rear dropouts are great for this motor they just fit right in it's awesome but uh, I'm having a little issue with my rear disc brake but it's because my rims really warped and I'm actually missing a spoke but I have a turning watt meter in here, and I just check the cells from here and there, just to make sure they're they're good. Even though the controller has a low volt cutoff, it's probably at like 32 and a half volts or something. But uh, props to whoever sold me this brand new S750 frame. Very solid frame. I like it. And this uh, Scott signing out. Give you a quick shot of my extremely messy laboratory right now, but uh, all the battery packs that I've been rigging up just to get this bike running because I really don't have a legit pack. Like I was using my uh, M18 pack that I use at work. I would just uh, stick these terminals in there and tape them down, and that would give me, uh, you know, obviously five cells in series. And then I just need five more. So I'd. Uh, hmm this pack right here yeah this scary lipo pack that I got a bunch of like bad packs from this RC store that I did some electrical work at and they were just like oh we don't want them yeah you know, like they all got puff cells so like this one it was a six cell pack and only one of the cells was bad so I just popped that cell off and uh, made it a five cell pack and it's actually been working pretty good but it's only like 2.6 amp hours or something I don't know there's one of my turning meters and I got, uh, here's that Konian pack, or Sony 18650s, 5 in series, 4 in parallel. This gives me like, I don't know, these ones claim to be 1.8s, the GRs, so, what is that, 3.6, 7.2 volts, I mean 7.2 amp hours. And then I got uh, a 5 cell LiPo over there and a bunch of other chargers. I'm only like maybe two miles from home, so I'm not really worried about dying or anything. They've been going pretty good, actually, better than the LiPo I had yesterday. And uh, since I still don't have a balance charger for LiPo, I'm waiting on a new one to come in the mail. I, uh, I have to single cell charge my LiPo pack, so they're taking like a whole day to charge. It's ridiculous. Uh, I'm actually watching some auctions online right now. I think I might be buying some more 18650s. They just seem like such an easy solution, why not use them? I gave my uh, other packs to my brother and he neglected them and let him sit and sit outside and on his bike for the whole winter and ruined them. He doesn't even care. He's like, oh, the charger you gave me died, so I just let the cells go to hell and wasted a $150, $200 worth of cells. I still haven't gotten them back from him. I want to take them back and try to fix them up. I think they're uh, DOA now, so. 
Here's how the bike sits now. I don't know what I did with my speed, my cat eye when I took it off my bike, but I really miss it. I need a cat eye. I don't know how fast I'm going. Even though 36 volts is really slow. Probably only doing about 18 miles an hour everywhere. There's one of the scary packs I'm going to go out and ride with. You know, it uh, it's potential. It gives me energy and it'll work, but uh, it's not the prettiest thing. You really don't want to be doing this either because... I mean, it's all right if you just monitor them, but you got to be careful because these discharge at like five to ten amp max. These cells, and this thing is rated at thirty C. So when these are in series, this pack's gonna drain. This lipo is gonna drain so much quicker. So technically, this these could get damaged if you don't if you don't watch them because all the all the amps gonna get pulled out of this pack and the voltage will sag say down to say it sags down to thirteen volts and this pack uh, is just going to have voltage flowing through it and the amps aren't going to be that bad so this one's going to have a higher voltage so I haven't done much to the bike but I, I did put my old seat back on and it allowed me to change the angle to a more comfortable seating I wasn't too uh, fond of that seat that came with the bike anyway I mean it looks nice but it wasn't as comfortable as this old one from my GT Avalanche I love it but uh... And I just put this cheap $10 Speedo on there, even though the thing is awful. i got to find my specialized one and put it on because it updates so much quicker. It's more real-time. This thing's kind of sluggish. My rear brakes are dragging pretty bad. they got like a steady warp to them like my whole rim. So it's got a repetitive noise like tick, 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 while I'm riding. It's just real annoying. Got a clip of it right here. But I'm running that crazy pack you saw me with earlier. It's got uh, a turning 5 amp hour, and uh, then I just got those Sony 18650 GRs that have that low discharge rate, but they work. This controller is only pulling like 10 15 amps anyway. It's pretty weak. It climbs hills at like 14 miles an hour. Definitely got to buy a new controller. That thing is just tiny. Okay, so after getting back from that ride, I want to uh, split these packs apart now and check the voltage differences between them. Let's see what we get. Nineteen point fifty-seven. Is what that one's reading. Now let's see what this one says. Twenty point twenty two. And that was only like a two, two and a half mile ride, but it was uh all up steep grades and I was trying to test the controller to see if it would cut out and it didn't, which was good. But imagine if I put a deep discharge onto these and my controller didn't have a low volt cutoff, I could definitely damage them.